I said to my son before, do you want to hear a really good Batman impression? And he said, yeah, go on then. And I said, no, not the kryptonite. And he said, that's Superman. I said, thank you, I've been practicing a lot. Welcome to Shave and Butcher. Slightly smaller razor today than the previous video. This is a Böcker, or Americans call it Boker, but it's the O has two little dots over it. So it's Böcker, it's German, I guess it's from Solingen. This is an Edelweiss. Edelweiss, Edelweiss, every morning you greet me. I think I messed that up. So I, I saw this on, um, on an auction uh, site, the uh, Swedish eBay, and you know, Böcker, I know, I know that's a good brand. I've never had a Böcker racer, so I thought, man, it looked to be in decent condition. So I put in a bid last 10 seconds and I got it. And I think I paid 150 Swedish, which is 15 euros or $18. And I, uh, I thought, that's really cool. And I got it. And of course I hadn't been paying attention to the pictures. So it had a crack. Uh, the razor is originally uh, this long, so it has another few millimeters, but it had a crack at, at, the, at the toe. And I thought, oh shit. But then I got in touch with Niklas, the, the racer guru with, <laughs> with the kitchen knife. And I said, um, do, you know, do, you think, do you think you can put an edge on it? And he said, yeah, that's not a problem. And, I said, well, maybe you can fix the toe as well, because I could cut it, but it wouldn't be nice. So he did. And he even put a, um, it's not going to focus, but a, a nice little, yeah, do you see? Uh, whatever that's called, sort of diamond angles. And it looks pretty decent, Edelweiss. It has a mother of pearl on it. I don't know if it's the real thing or if it's fake, but it looks nice and it feels, this stuff feels really good to hold. Uh, and it's in good condition. I didn't polish it because I didn't want to ruin the, the etching. I just took, uh, what did I take? Yeah, d uh, liquid uh, dishwasher, dishwasher liquid and a toothbrush. And I just, just got the mud off it basically. So let's see how it shaves. Um, the rest is going to be Marion the Barbarian stuff. Southern Witchcraft, Pomona. Smells of mainly red wine to me or that's what i think of it's apple honey spiced red wine and a few other things but it really is red wine and it's, uh, it's uh, i love this scent and it's a terrific soap also a gift from marion was this cool this is this might be my coolest brush it's made in the usa it's a certified set in rubber um Pretty cool. So that's what we're that's what we're doing. That's what we're using. Ah, I slept really poorly last night. And I've been working pretty hard today <laughs> for a change, right? So I'm I'm exhausted. I'm really tired. I can see it in my eyes. So I apologize if I don't look as pretty as usual. But you you need to love me uh, when I'm ugly. We need to love each other, no matter what. So I tell my wife anyway. Um, yep, long day, interesting day. Work, lots of things going on. It's interesting, it's, it's good stuff. Got to speak a bit of French with a gentleman from Quebec. It's always nice. Yeah. I had a bit of practice speaking French on YouTube, so I was on a bit of a roll. And but it's always it's always a bit mortifying when you start and you say bonjour and you talk a bit of French. And they say ah, very good. Shall we swap to English? <laughs> of course, his English is much much better than my French, but still, you know, it's a small stab in the back. Speaking of that, I. I managed to sort of stab myself with a razor yesterday. I don't know what I did. All of a sudden, I could feel it. 
and then it started bleeding and I, I, I had punctured it so it wasn't a cut or anything and I I don't know it was in here somewhere I'm sure I'll open it up weirdest thing really not professional so did I load that enough I'm not so sure but let's see let's put water in it it's a terrific terrific soap base uh, who else likes this? Frank does. Frank Strömberg, wet shaving and stuff. He loves that. He has the one uh, that's supposed to smell like Hannibal Lecter's hand cream. Which apparently is quite sophisticated and as scents go. Doesn't smell like dead people. Because Mr. Lecter was uh, sophisticated. He just had interesting eating habits. But then, you know, people eat monkeys and dogs and snakes and stuff. Which, okay, eating humans is weirder. But it's, you know, it's on a scale, isn't it? A, scale, a slippery slope. Yeah, we're putting water into it. Certainly wasn't too little soap. Sometimes you wonder, because some soaps, when you load them, they become sort of luminous straight away, and some don't. Oh, such a such a cool scent. Such a cool scent. I've got a number of a few interesting soaps on the way in. Three. So. Really looking forward to that. Some cool scents. Sometimes I want to buy 10 soaps in a day. I never do. And two of these three are second hand. So hmm? be wary of money and the environment. Um, you know, the fact that soaps deserve to be used. Because other days I look at my soap collection, which is smaller than a lot of people's, but there are quite a few soaps I very rarely use. I've tried to sell them for not a lot of money, no interest. Good soaps, you know, I just don't use them. So maybe I should try and give them away. I, I do that on occasion, but I, I, I want to give it away to people who would appreciate them. We'll see. I'll have a think about it. Or, you know, like I, I bought five soaps for five soaps for a hundred Swedish. So that's what is that? Ten, eleven dollars. Some were almost gone, some were three quarters full, some were really old. But that was a cool way of trying out five new soaps, you know? And and I got six or seven because he put a few extra in. So I might I might do that. Yeah, I should probably charge 10 bucks, shouldn't I? Because if you give it away, you get, you get the weirdos. Okay, so I have the volume I want. I'm just painting, very carefully painting water into it to get it really well hydrated. Hydrated. Yeah, that will do. It's a ridiculously good soap, it genuinely is. But we're here mainly to test the racer now, the 15, the 15 euro racer. Was it 15? I think it was, it wasn't a lot. Okay, it is 20, I can't remember. So, Let's see. Mother of pearl. It feels so good. It's, it's so soft. Um, yep, here we go. Wow, I think that's rather smooth. Oh, beautiful. 
it's a small racer. It's quite, it be about five, five eighths. I think I haven't measured it. And uh, soap is properly hydrated, guys. good. The real test is on the second pass against the green. This feels good. I mean, Berker are good racers. I'm sure quite a few of you have them. Let me know in the comments, if you will, and what, what you think of them. Um, certainly is one of the really well-known brands. And it's, it's interesting if... Hang on. lock it's interesting if you can take half a centimeter off and still still have um, a good balance and, and what else whatever you need to get a keen edge Super sharp, right? Um, really, really good. And if you compare it to a, sh a new blade on a Chevette, I'm gonna mess this up, but sometimes when you go downwards, you, you hit the lip a bit. So you touch the lip. Can You, you can even hear that. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> if you do that with a new blade, to a feather artist club or a wick, there will be blood. There will be blood. But with this thing, it just, it, it attaches to itself and sort of let's, let's go like this. And it's, it's equally sharp, right? I think, I think this is equally sharp. It feels like it. It's just so damn smooth. And that, that, this is one of the differences between Chevette style racers and straights. It's interesting to have what is by my standards such a small racer. I mean, it's the same size as the MK31 I tried the other day. They are maybe better racers in general than the, the big full inch style racers. Someone who's realized that is Matti Lindholm. Lind Lindholm, my God. Go going senile. Uh, he's, he's, he's obviously tried a lot of things and straights and chevettes and different stones and he goes back to, to preferring 5 8 as a size and, and that tells you something because the man is man is good good at everything and he has a really good sense of he's a, an extraordinarily good shaver much more skilled than I am so he can maneuver anything. He could he could maneuver a big racer. He shaved with a folding knife the other day. Uh, you know, so so that that tells you something. It's a matter of preference and how big your hands are, and all of that. But he's he's sort of empirically tried a lot of things and come to the conclusion that five eighths for him is ideal. Quite interesting, because I get carried away like a lot of people uh, wanting bigger and bigger racers, and you know it's fun, it's impressive, but they're not better at all. If anything, they're slightly more difficult to handle. Eh? Wow, 
Wow. Holy wow. Shoof. Wow. Incredible. That is sharp and smooth. Wow. Think of David Gonzalez and you go in the exact opposite direction. That's what this is. Oops. There was some, some oopsie stuff going on. The lather's too dry all of a sudden. I don't know what happened. It was so well hydrated. Doesn't matter much. What an edge. Can you see that it's dry? <laughs> so smooth. Sorry for going slow, my, my hand is slow. Press it. Impressive stuff. Wonder if I should add a bit. I think I'll add just a touch of aqua. Yeah, it's runny now. Perfect. <laughs> Fifteen euros. Remind, the feeling reminds me of my Philharmonica and the Ralph Faust and the MK31. The soap, you can go over and over the same area many times, it doesn't matter. I want to see how close I can get it on two passes. I'll, I'll just be thorough. Because if you have a really good razor and you're thorough and take your time with two passes, that's enough. You really don't, and you should, could, should, could be BBS. If you know you're going to do a third pass, You're a little bit less thorough. Plus, of course, you know, you're going in different directions and with the grain, against the grain, across the grain, that sort of thing. But I've had, with a wick, if I'm careful and pay attention, I get as BBS as I can get with a with a straight razor type uh, razor because you know I, there are certain angles in the hollows where you know you really need to go all all, all directions. But with the wick doing a pickup pass doesn't help. Seriously, if I if I've done a, a good job and taken my time, it doesn't get better. I have nothing to pick up that I can pick up with a straight. The only place where what I could reduce hair is is in the twirly twirly stuff in the hollows, which I could never do with the straight anyway. Frank Frank Stromberg could, but I can't. What an incredible razor! Oh, I feel like getting a bunch of these now. You know, 
get a pretty one. Mind you, if you don't look closely, you may not notice that it's being shortened a bit. I do, of course. But in terms of the shaving experience, there's no way on earth that it has deteriorated at all by Nicholas cutting that little bit off. Not, not one bit. Because shaving with a straight razor, I'm not joking, cannot be better than, than what it is right now. No way. I've had similar, but I haven't had better. Can you hear it? Let's see if I open up that stab wound. Holy shit. Pardon the faucet. Yeah, I, I think we're good. I'm gonna do a bit of rinsing and see what it feels like. <laughs> wow, wow. I have a teeny bit here, a teeny bit there. I think it's just fine. Okay, I'll do a pickup. I'll do a pickup as the usual. And I wasn't lying before. If I had paid proper attention, and of course, you know, you get to know your racer with this one compared to a thick wedge, you have to apply a little bit more pressure, pressure, pressure. So you get to know the racer, right? How many of you, honestly, and we're 22 minutes into the video, so only the people who've fallen asleep or um, the hardcore fans or people with no life, you figure out which one you are, <laughs> sorry, are paying attention. How many of you are actually watching me and people on YouTube shave, watching the, the footage? And how many of you are mainly listening? I mainly listen. I have to admit. You know, except if someone is showing something spectacular. You know, Doug Bear has a new move or whatever. Or someone's shaving with a kitchen knife. I mainly listen because I mainly watch, pick up, play, listen to videos with people I find interesting. Not so much for their shaving expertise, to be honest. That too, but mainly because, uh, okay, I'll shut up now and finish the shaving. Wow. Holy smokes. Holy cow. That is a good razor. And the scent of this soap just everywhere. Now I get apples and honey and mm. Thank you, Marion. Marion sent me this one, a moon soup, soup, and a spearhead. All three of them spectacular and really nice scents on all three. Good choice, good choice. Wow. Cool. You know, I say this quite often. I've shaved a few thousand times. 
and it's shaving, right? Something you do every day. But I can still get blown away by stuff, usually by racers. And also by the whole experience, you know, the, the, the Zen moment of, of everything in the ritual. Absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal. What do we pick up as aftershave? Well, I don't know, something peaceful. Yeah, I resort to Lucido quite often. Two in a row with Lucido. It is a good product. It's like you pick it up from your medicine cabinet. Oh, cool. I'm gonna put a balm on in a while, but I won't do it just now. That was pretty good, pretty damn good. Okay, so the star of the of the show today was was the Edelweiss. Böker, what is it, Heinrich Böker? It's Böker anyway, or Boker, the Edelweiss. 15 euros, pretty cool. Okay, thank you for watching, appreciate it. Um, I'll be back, I hope you will be back as well. Take it easy and uh, stay sharp.